Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Project Manhigh, the first man at the edge of space. Dr. David Simons, he rose out of the bottom of the Portsmouth mine, which was about 400 feet deep at that time, and rose up to 101,500 feet above the earth. And he stayed up there for 32 hours, conducting medical experiments on himself. He left from the city of Crosby and came down just into South Dakota in a farmer's field. The capsule is about three feet in diameter and about seven feet tall, and it was hooked onto a plastic balloon that was 280 feet long and contained three million cubic feet of helium. Dr. Simons had the opportunity to go ahead and released the three million cubic feet of helium that was in the balloon that carried him where he could gently come back down after he'd been up there. Dr. Simons had been in, involved with the Air Force. They'd sent some small animals and that type of thing up in a nose cone of rockets and found out that they were successful. And so at that time, in 1957, the United States and Russia were not good friends and we thought we were behind the Russians. This was really kind of a top secret situation. However, about a month after Dr. Simons came down and the Air Force had canceled any more flights, Dr. Simons was sent over to Barcelona, Spain. And over there, he was gonna give a talk about what he found out at 101,000 feet above the earth. And as soon as he got off the train or whatever, all of a sudden the streets are filled with people and are dancing and laughing and waving flags and doing all kinds of things. He didn't know what they were, you know, what all the excitement was. Finally found somebody that spoke English and, and Spanish, and he pointed up in the air and said Sputnik. So now the United States government and the Air Force, they had two other flights that went up, but they were not as successful as the Manhai flight was. And shortly after that, NASA was formed, and the Air Force got out of the space race. From that point on, it was all about NASA doing this and where they've gotten to now. That's a picture that we got from the Air Force showing it when the capsule was taking off out of the bottom of the Portsmouth mine. We have another picture over here that is of Dr. Simons in his protective suit. That was on the cover of Life magazine. In 2007, it was the 50th anniversary of the Manhai Project. And so we had a celebration and Dr. Simons was still alive and he came up here for it. So it's you know, a big piece of history as far as the space race. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.